Hi, I'm Graham, and welcome back to Man vs Film. This is going to be a movie review for Man Down. Now, straight off the bat, Man Down has a couple of things going for it, and a couple of things going against it. One of those things is Shia LaBeouf. You're never quite sure which Shia is going to turn up, but then on the other hand, you have Gary Oldman, who you know is always going to throw in a fantastic performance. But then the movie has Jai Courtney, one of the worst things to happen to cinema, in my opinion, and always a bad sign for a movie. But the movie also has Clifton Collin Jr., a terrific actor who always brings his best and is a great addition to any movie. And lastly, the movie also stars Kate Mara. Don't know where she falls, so for my reckoning, it's 2 2 before the movie even starts. The movie is about a soldier who returns home to a post apocalyptic America after a Gulf War or similar Afghanistan conflict type thing uh, to find that his wife and his son have vanished and he's travelling the lands trying to track them down to make sure that they're okay and get the family unit back together. Along his travels he is with his best friend and also army uh, person and that is Jai Courtney. And the movie has several interlaying stories so it, it tells you the story of Shia Booth's character as he gets ready to go to war, goes through boot camp with his friend Jai Courtney and then off to war they go. Then it has a story of Shia LaBeouf's character talking to Gary Oldman about something that has happened during the war and you get little bits of this throughout the movie. And then you have the kind of third story which is about the post-apocalyptic America as he looks about for his son all the way through the movie. And it kind of jumps back and forth, kind of layering up the story and giving you new aspects in each of these three tangents throughout the movie. And that is one of the things that kind of drags the movie down. It thinks it's being a little bit more clever than what it actually is and the signs are all there that this movie is pretty much on the surface what it's going to be about. It's about post-traumatic stress disorder and I kind of think that it handles it in a ham-fisted and unlikable way. The character of Shia LaBeouf is kind of split between these three stories. He's a family man going off to war, doing the things so he can so he keep his family together and survive and get a paycheck. He is kind of broken after the war and he is a determined soldier looking for his son. And these are all three different kind of traits but it's all in the one character. I was kind of with the movie some of the way. I enjoyed certain aspects of it. Then it becomes over dramatised, melodramatic almost as it paints these atypical drama type scenarios throughout the movie. Oh this person did that, oh my best friend did this, oh my wife did that. And it layers up the sort of heavy handed or the PTSD syndrome. You know, it's, it's, it doesn't have a duality to it. It's quite patently saying that war is bad and this is the effects of war. But it doesn't make the main character a redeemable character in the end of the piece. And that's where I had most of the trouble the last 15, 20 minutes of the movie. And I don't want to go into it too much to spoil it for you. But let it be said that I think that that really lets the movie down. Like I said, it's trying to be more clever than it actually is. And it makes the protagonist a not very nice person and it repurposes the movie to show how just warped that person can become and that's what it's painting about war. It doesn't make the character vulnerable or redeemable at all. It just paints them as they go to war, they get PTSD and they're not a nice very violent person and they should be avoided at all costs. And I don't think that's a right message to put across in this kind of movie. The story was trite, I didn't really enjoy it or engage with most of the characters. It felt atypical of a kind of melodramatic PTSD movie, and that's why I'm going to give it one and a half out of five. Didn't really enjoy it. It's not one of the best movies I've seen this year. Probably one of the worst, actually. Have you seen Man Down? Did you like it? Let me know in the comment box below, and I will see you next time on Man vs Film.